Welcome everybody to I Love You. I knew. I'm breaking. Welcome everybody to I Love You. I knew. This is the signature podcast from the Prolonged Engagement. You can always find us every single Monday at noon on youtube.com slash the Prolonged Engagement Show. Or you can find us on our website at theprolongedengagement.com. There you can find the links to this show in audio format on your favorite podcasting service. If your favorite podcasting service is something we're not on, you've Sorry. picked a wrong favorite one. Write we're in, on all the good ones. Write it in the comments below and we'll try to get onto it. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure. All right. At any rate, my name is Kyle. And I'm Sarah. And without further ado, let's get into it. So, um, yesterday, yeah. as of the time that I was reco- that we're recording this. Yep. Um, so I was uh, surfing around on the Fachi book. Yeah. And um, because you have time to do that. Okay. I'm still studying for my comp. Anyway, um, which you. Which By the time this goes up, I'll be. You've already taken it. <laughs> um, the magic of time. The magic of time. <laughs> Uh, so I was on the, uh, it was something from the kind of funny community that they posted on here. The, uh, uh, the tagline of this, of this link was Nintendo gave a black video game character weaponized hair and that's not a good thing. So of course I had to read into this just, just like how I read into, the cultural appropriation of Horizon Zero Dawn, that it, whole m- more cultural appropriation bullshit. We did a we did a, a video on that. I'll put the card up. You know, you can you can go watch that if you want. That's a oh lordy, lordy, to, to get, lord, to get lord. our view on cultural appropri- appropriation already, so we don't have to repeat ourselves. So at any rate, this is written by Tanya DePass, and she put it on Mike, which is okay. one of these you know. I have a stupid opinion, and I'm just going to put it out there, websites, you know? So, anyway, the uh, the title is, What Nintendo Gets Wrong with Twintel, the new WOC fighter from ARMS. So, um, Twintel. Did you, have you seen Twintel before today? No, I'm not. Okay, because I, I watched the, uh, I watched the ARMS, um, uh, Nintendo Direct. Yeah. So I saw her in action, and she's awesome. Really. Like, really cool. And so she looks like one of the best characters in the game. Well, because not only you want to hear the coolest thing about Twintel. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, the the backstory of Arms, how all of these characters got their arms mm-hmm. all springy and shit. Yeah. Is they woke up one day and it happened to them. <laughs> Nintendo! So I am rooting for you. No, 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 no. They they made it back and they 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 gave the characters in the game like things that they said when they woke up with these arms. Okay. Like um like the spring guy or whatever. Um the the you know the main guy in arms that you see. Um mm-hmm. his was I just woke up and my arms were like springs and I thought this is really cool. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit better. So, I mean, they did, they put, they've put a lot of backstory into all of these characters. Every single character has a backstory. Okay. Of how, of, of who they are, who they were, um, and things of that nature. So, Twintel mm-hmm. is actually a very, 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 very popular mm-hmm. um, celebrity. Okay. Before she got her hair all springied. So, like... Nicki Minaj or Beyonce like that like that type of big they're saying that she's like ginormous in the world of arms okay so then she's our Beyonce so she's uh, Queen Queen Bay right yeah so at any rate so one of her like her 
and, and so arms has got this cool meta uh story that they've kind of inputted like um it's not just whether or not they're slow or they're fast yeah. or they can you know um they say that twintel is actually captivating so she can actually slow down her opponents because like um y- you'll see the opponent's fighting style might change or get a little bit sluggish because they're mesmerized by Twintel because she's just that big of a celebrity and she's gorgeous. Okay, you haven't said anything bad but yet. But yet, her weaponized terror is a big fucking problem. I'm sorry, I would rather that they weaponize her hair instead of ruin her arms if she's some big celebrity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, everyone else gets fucked up arms. Exactly. She gets super awesome hair. I just, I just don't see any problem with this. I see no problems with this whatsoever. Whatsoever. None. No. But here is, is it just because of her skin color? But here comes Tanya, and her weaponized hair is a bad thing. So Tanya says that um, hair like hers is often weaponized in real life. And um, it's been made illegal to wear as it grows, been feared and politicized to the point of having job offers rescinded. Um, no, what to gets go, you a freaking job well, offer rescinded um, is something like this, is writing something like this. Being checked at the airport while going through security without a legitimate reason. And games and media seeing my hair differently as a person of color is nothing new. Her entire article here is about how games don't have good people of color hair. That's her whole thing. They don't have hair. Okay. They gonna... don't have hair that is specifically like hers. So they are completely ignoring her as a person and everyone needs to feel bad about that. I should have brought my hair tie. So to begin, does she know how hard it is to make hair in video games? Obviously not. I mean, if she's talking about this. I mean, here, here's a... Here, because here's... let me tell you something. They will never make a character with hair like mine. Ever. What do you mean? So, like, with Moana, because... Moana is the one who I will honestly say is closest to my hair type. Okay. It took them an entirely new software to make her hair. Well, and then that's a whole other thing is that if you're looking at animation versus a video game, the hair physics is something completely different because um, it, 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 it has to follow the physics of the story. I know. What? Hold on, oh, pump pump them brakes, because I gotta I gotta I gotta get into. But you know what I'm saying. I gotta right? get into some code. I got to get into some code here. Do you know what I'm saying already? But okay, so like, let's just look at a game like Fallout Four, and how you'll see how a, a woman will have longer hair, but as she turns her head, the hair just kind of moves with her head. Yeah. You know, it has no, it has no flow. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with coat physics that people, you know, uh, uh, physics on flowy coats or th- things like that. Is yeah. People complain about that as well. So it's kind of in the same realm of It doesn't have that. a real flow to it. It right. has this. Video games don't have real hair. They, no. they, they can't. No. And in most cases, you can get it to where the main character will have long flowing hair where the hair physics will be good on them but they can't actually code that into every single fucking npc because if every single tiny little npc has long flowing hair it's going to make the game run like shit yeah and because i honestly don't believe that this bitch plays video games either it doesn't sound like it she doesn't even know where um, where uh, Nintendo's games are developed. You know? Yeah. Because he, he, here's, here's something. Let's see. Uh, she says, 
Roughly 76% of the gaming industry employees are white males, according to the 2016 report from International Game Developers Association. So it's likely that a few Nintendo employees even considered uh, how Twin Tails' hair might be perceived. So not only did she like totally have no clue where Nintendo makes their games... It is in... In Japan. Yeah. Where, what is it, 99% of the people in Japan are Japanese? Yes. Right? Right? Yeah. Something like that? It's, it's some astronomical it's really, number? It's like, wait, what? But yet, they're of European descent, obviously, so they can't know White about males. black hair, right? No, Although, uh, an Asian, an Asian male is not a white male. I know they're not. That's what I'm saying. They're very different. Especially in Japan, with their culture the way it is, their culture is also very different. So than here's so here's Nintendo. Here's Nintendo making an awesome thing like you know what? Let's put a black chick in there, and let's give her some fucking awesome hair, and, and let's make, make her, her a let's make her a fucking, fucking superstar, badass. and and make it to where people want to jack off to that ass and not hit the bitch. That did you see the memes that were going around after you've seen Twintel, right? No. Yes, you have. I've only seen him what you show me on that. <laughs> Literal perfection. Yes. I agree, yes. <laughs> There's, there are memes going around of Twintel's ass and Zelda's ass right next to each other. And it's like. Hey, did you hear about the new game ARMS? It looks pretty cool. What do you think of the best part of it will be? me um the arms yeah and then it's a picture of her ass <laughs> that that's what i'm saying like this has been a huge thing since she came out she's been like this huge like you know like everyone's like dat ass that is some legit that <laughs> dat ass dat ass but th- th- they made her super friggin curvy which okay I'm sorry. She I'm going. She ain't some skinny bitch. No, I'm gonna get probably rude here. But if anyone knows Japanese culture, curvy's bad. Yeah. That sounds so rude of me to say. I am. I'm not trying to be racist or anything. I am just stating this as a fact of the culture. Curvy is bad. They're they're obviously and they're working with people in the United States. I am. They're working with their Western counterparts. Yes. I yeah. might I might have to get that game now just to play as Twin Tail. Mm, maybe not. But so here's Nintendo. They're making great strides, and they're like, let's put in this uh, this curvy? woman, this curvy woman of color. Of color. And let's make her. And let's make her captivating. Let's, let's make, make her, her gorgeous. Mesmerizing. Let's give her a backstory of being uh, this, Beyonce? you know, like pretty much like Beyonce and have it to where her competitors think that she's so gorgeous that, that they can't hit her. They can't, you know, that it slows down shit. I mean, come on. I bet this woman fucking looked at one fucking picture Saw and the said, hair. Oh, look, she's got weaponized hair. This is a bad thing. And I need to make an entire article about hair yeah. now. Because about she lack of hair, she doesn't make a single reference to any other game in here. I'm I'm looking through this entire article and I'm like, because she, she's like, does she? Hmm. She does right here, but uh, yeah. I'm, so I'm getting to that. So, uh, she's like, oh yeah, oh I play video games and I'm like, there's no good black hair. There's just none, none, none in video games. Take my word for it. There's just none. I can tell you about it. There's none. It, that's the whole damn thing. Yeah. When and, I can prove her wrong with and then so, one game. And then here we go. Here we go. And she says something like, um, uh, worse is when given an option to everyone but POC characters in the game. You can see this in recent games like Dragon Age Inquisition, one of the non-playable char- one of the non-playable characters in uh, Aloy works with in Horizon Zero Dawn and Mass Effect Andromeda, 
Andromeda, which provides just three natural hair options total. And let's let's zoom in. Let's zoom in right here. Does that guy look black to you? No. I'm putting it right right here. Does that guy look black to you? No. Does he look like a person of color to you? No. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? That's not a person of color. And yet you're going to talk about bad person of color hair. Get the fuck out of here. I've had it. I've I just had it, it. I find it interesting that... She doesn't even point out the black character that she works with in Horizon Zero Dawn. She probably just said... She probably just looked at a bunch of hair and said, You know which one looks like crap? That one. So I'm going to put it in my fucking article. Yeah. Just to prove my point. Because she the lo- war chief in Horizon Zero Dawn is black. And guess what? She's got black hair. Quintessential black hair. And so does her son. And so does her daughter. And so does every other black person in Horizon Zero Dawn. You want to know why? Because Gorilla took time and they made it that way. Fuck. Would you like me to point out another game where black hair is actually done very, very well? Yes. Sims 4. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's it's pretty legit. There's a couple of them that I was impressed by. Um, of course, you can have them. It's on create a sim, so you can have it with any color of the rainbow skin. Right. But it's like an afro. But they have people of color hair. Yes. And it's not just an afro, right? No. There's like braids. There's afro. They're shaved. There's like four or five different ones. Mm-hmm. And... Although I haven't used them, I've seen them in other gameplays, mm-hmm. and they're all really good looking. Yeah, they make them look good. Yeah, and they actually move like normal hair, which I was impressed by. That's what kind of why I like The Sims Four. They actually try to do things differently. So he, this, this is this is her this why? is her call to action at the end. A blender like Twintel's hair doesn't mean companies should stop making diverse characters. It's an urgent reminder why better hair options matter. Why fans should be critical of the media they consume and why companies should be mindful of who picks up their next title and how they might feel as a gamer whose background isn't European. You know what I would like to see? Yeah. Fuck the hair. You want to know what I would like to see? What? I'd like to see um, black uh, men and women as the main character in games. I think that's a... That, that would be nice. That would be a cool thing to do. Oh, I just remembered another one. Watch Dogs 3. Watch Dogs 2. Mm-hmm. The lead fucking character. Is black. Is black. And there's also another character in Dead Sec named Horatio. He's black, He's black, and he has those cool um, springies. Yeah, those cool springies that that makes me sound so rude. I'm so sorry. But it's like they're like yeah. spikes that pop out. Yeah, but it's I, really nice. I love that hairstyle. The it's so nice. Yeah. I like it. I love that hairstyle. I love it. I think it's really and pretty. it looks really good on Horatio too. Yeah. And they have this whole conversation in that game about being black, about being black, about being black in in tech. You know, it, there's like, oh my god, this stupid fucking bitch. Like she doesn't even, she has she doesn't no look for the good. fucking she looked, clue. She, she has no clue for what she wanted to for her bad black hair. She has no clue. You know. It, Obviously, she didn't look at Horizon Zero Dawn. No, nope, not really. If she wanted to find, you know, c- hair for people of color in yeah. there. I mean, just get the fuck out of here. Get that over drives yourself me at that point. absolutely insane. I just don't know why. I can, I, it... How does this bitch have a voice? This is This is my other thing of, like, why I hate social media is that people who have voices shouldn't have voices. And here I am making my voice out to social media. Yeah. And I may be one of those people. To some that, people, uh, that, I bet to you To some are. people that sit there and go like, 
who is this asshole and why is he speaking? He shouldn't have a voice. But when you are literally complaining about nothing. To complain. Just to complain. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, I fully agree about that. Man. Man. It's. Why? Why? I don't know. If she wants to complain about bad hair, she should play Fallout 4. God. Those guys built that game in a fucking vacuum. They had no idea what was going on. They went into a they went into a cave for 3 years and popped out and they're like, "Isn't this game doesn't this game look awesome?" And everyone's like, "No, The Witcher 3 just came out 6 months ago and it blows this shit out of the water." Yeah. Like and although even The Witcher 3 had hair problems, I've seen Geralt, the glitches. Yeah. I've seen the glitches where it's hilarious where women with my not as my length, they're a little bit shorter. Even Aloy's hair doesn't work right. No. I put up a video on my own Facebook about how her hair is just perfect. The physics on her hair is just like perfect throughout she, the whole that's thing. The, that's the first it's time like I've ever seen a woman. As she's running, it, it flows like, you know. That's the it, first time I've seen a woman with hair my length. Yeah. First time in my life. Normally, and they don't have women protagonists in video games with hair that long because they can't, they can't, they um, can't, they can't make it work. It's really, really difficult to code. No, it really is. No, I'm saying it is. I know it is. And you know, it's, uh, it's difficult to upkeep. I cannot imagine how difficult this is to code. <laughs> yeah, and it's also why like Anna and Elsa don't have long flowing hair. I mean, Elsa has long hair, but it's in a braid, so it has mm-hmm. one. Thing one of motion. Movement. It has one movement. There's no flow to it. Yeah. It doesn't have to blow in the wind like Moana's hair. Moana's so good. Yeah, it is. Damn, that movie's so good. I like, watched it on the plane. It was so good, man. Like I said before. Because I was it, next it, to two fucking kids. And I was trying to watch her. And, and, and here I am trying to watch her. And the guy's about to jack off to this woman. And so, like, he's, like, he's like on a phone sex call with this woman and then in his mind he thinks of a naked woman and so it actually shows the naked woman and I'm sitting next to like an eight year old and I'm like fuck I was like and I was like Moana damn I was like I really wanted to watch her too well you can watch it with me no I don't know if it's well if it's on like Netflix or something I'll watch it but it's on the plane so no No, like I, I won't lie, and this is something that I know. I will probably never have a character like me in a game. Native American female with long hair. But with with that, um, with that hair, there was even there was there were glitches. <laughs> I put I put on a video on my personal page, and it's when you're in an elevator in Meridian. So as you go down. The hair, the end of the hair is is going like this. Like it's just jumping. Yeah. Up on her back. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason why it should do that. I understand if the hair is going to flow up because of the airflow, but it just doesn't know what to do because your character is moving down in the world. So it expects to push the hair up with the wind flow, but you're not falling as fast as the it's like one tiny little problem in that perfect game. So it's confused. The poor, the poor. It's, it's pretty thing much is like it's like what do I do here? The the action of going down in an elevator has actually confused confused the hair physics engine. Are, are you hearing this, people? Yeah. That that's that is why you can't have actual looking hair. And make it act the way that it's supposed to act in video games because it is so hard. You can have a literally like a perfect fucking game like Horizon Zero Dawn and have these tiny little things where her hair fucking, you know, pops up yeah. in the wind. Yeah. I mean, just uh, get the fuck out of here with your nonsense, bitch. Mm. Fuck. Mm. fucking Tanya whatever the fuck your name is that just always drives me nuts cause I know how difficult Tanya to pass I know how difficult it is to code hair 
No, you don't. The hair is difficult to coat. But you've never coated it. You don't no, know how No, I've never coated it, it. But I've heard time and time again from watching animation films from Monsters, Inc. to Moana. Mm-hmm. They try to avoid hair. Yeah. Sully from Monsters, Inc. was a bitch to coat. Mm-hmm. Donkey from Shrek was a bitch to code to the point where there's actually a like a glitch uh, from when they were coding it mm-hmm. where <laughs> he turns into a fucking puffball. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing in the world. You see the uh, model thing like I, th- I don't know which lines it is but he's like walking down a hill or something and just suddenly the carriage goes and he's a puff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Fiona and in Shrek. Her hair messed up often. Mm-hmm. Um, who else do I need to go on to? Her hair didn't even move really either. No. They tried really to avoid short, it. Yeah. They tried to avoid it. And it was also in a ponytail. Yeah. Braided. braided. Braided ponytail, yeah. Um, With two little <laughs> bangs and whatnot. Yeah. But they tried to avoid it. Mm-hmm. It's like... <laughs> People, before they start talking, they should really, really think about what they... Do they actually know the ins and outs of what they're talking about? Yeah. Or are they Have just they their spewing research? their bullshit? I, I like to think that I am the type of person that actually looks into something before I fucking open my mouth about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Because I, I like to do I my don't research want before to I be, say something. I don't want to be that person that just says something... And then people take my opinion or take what I said, and it'd be totally wrong. I don't like that. And... Yeah. I don't like... I, I would rather make sure that I research a topic everything that I've said, before everything I Everything that I've said on this show, I'm like... Have I researched I've, it? I've, have I checked? Have I fact-checked twice? You know, have I... Do I... It, does my expertise say that I can, you know, do it I this way? I can actually talk about this. Or you know or 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 things like that it's just like you know yeah i'm not going to be like you know tanya. like tanya and just say weaponized hair is bad i don't know what the hell i'm talking about yeah and i'm because, not going to give you proof you know and another thing of like oh let's just completely focus on her hair yeah. and not about the character. character that was created yeah you know oh she's a great character Oh, she's what? She's a she's the only character in Arms that's an actual celebrity. Yeah. Oh, she looks fucking hot. Oh, oh, but what a nice hair. But, that's the bad part. Yeah. So it's a it's a huge blunder, and no one should buy the game because of yeah. it, right? Yep. Yeah, totally, totally. Just get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. Just research, check your facts, and don't be an asshole. So, at any rate, I'm hoping to uh, do a cool, do some cool shit with the channel and whatnot. Yeah, we are. Um, it's, things are coming. Lots of things are coming. Lots of very, maybe a couple new shows. Maybe, maybe not. It all depends on what we can do. Yeah. So, when we currently looking for a job. Yeah. Hey, maybe by the time this goes up, I'll have one. Yay! That would be cool, that right? That would be nice. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be. That would be very cool. I would like that. Me too. So yes, things are coming. New things are coming. Lots of new things. So I'm excited. Me too. All right. Anyway, this was... I love you. I know. This is the signature podcast from the Prolonged Engagement. You can find us every single Monday at noon on youtube.com slash the prolonged engagement show or our website at the prolonged engagement.com there you can find the links to this show in audio format on your favorite podcasting service my name is kyle and i'm sarah and we'll see you next week love you bye hey guys thanks for watching and if you want to subscribe you should click over here If you want to watch the latest episode of I Love You, I Know, click right here. If you want to see our latest video, click right here. And if you want to see our latest Let's Play, click right here. If you're listening on MP3, 